How beautiful are you doing? Oh, just drinking this hot salad water, yo. He means tea. I know what he means. What I don't know is who brought it into the tower. I don't know. It was not me. Who? Oh, it's our me. Calm down, dude. What's the big deal? You were about to drink tea. Tea! The national beverage of Great Britain. Do I really need to spell it out for you? Yes. <sighs> it all started back in 1776. Is this going to be a math story? Quiet! It all started back in 1776. The British Empire once ruled the American colonies. British soldiers could stay in anyone's house, anytime, and the taxes were super unfair. But worse than that, everyone was forced to drink tea all the time. Soda was not allowed. It was terrible. Finally, George Washington and the Founding Fathers had enough with the help of the mighty bald eagle and the Statue of Liberty. They declared independence and threw all the tea into the ocean. Without their tea, the British Army didn't stand a chance, and America could drink all the soda it wanted. Uh. Of course, ever since their humiliating defeat, <laughs> the English have been working to regain control of the United States, and that tea is their way in! Robin, it's just a hot water salad. It's treason! Treason, I say! And I'm going to put it where it belongs! Aww. Aww. Forget the tea! You're Americans! You need something with a little sugar in it. Star, with your good looks and friendly attitude, you're clearly the homecoming queen. Cyborg, with your massive shoulders and bulging muscles, you're obviously a jock. Raven. With your refusal to play along in deep-seated anger, you're clearly a basket case. What about me? You? You're a nerd. Huh, really? I always felt more like a bohemian. Shut it, nerd. School isn't about what you feel on the inside. It's about dressing up the outside so everyone knows who you are by looks alone. So, who are you? Well, obviously, I'm the all-American boy next door. I'm the guy who stands up to bullies. The guy who is elected student body president. The guy who becomes valedictorian. Who's with me? Hey, what's up, guys? Robin, we feel you have lost the vision of what is most important in a leader. So I used a time machine to bring one of history's greatest leaders here to remind you what leadership is all about. <laughs> It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Whoa, George Washington? The one and only. Dude, who's that old lady? Show some respect. I think it's the grandma who's on the back of the dollar bill. Oh, money grandma. She's rad. Being a true leader, Robin, is like being a gardener. You must tend to your friends like you might a small sapling. For only by working together towards a common goal can a true team with the strength of a mighty oak be formed. I think I understand. You want to run for team leader against me? I will ruin you, Washington! Robin, you misunderstand. He merely... Such insolence! All right, you little redcoat. If you want to test my mettle, you shall find me ready to deliver a quality thrashing indeed. Bring it on! I will bring it on! <laughs> Quick, take that, stop Georgie Porgy. Stop. Stop. Oh, your stop skills are old school. Stop it. Why are you Fight! 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 Was this your plan, Fight. Raven? Fight. More or less. Fight. You get it, money, Grandma! Man, we've been here five minutes, and you already got us in detention? Well, when I see a bully, I take him down. <laughs> no regrets. That's just the way of the all-American boy. All-American boy? More like crazy crane-kicking guy. I am still unsure who exactly was the bully in that situation. What, you didn't see this nerd trying to bully his way into hanging out with this cool jock? Why do you care about labels so much? Maybe there's more to us than what's on the surface, bro. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We all have our parts to play, and now that I trashed a bully, my next part is to become student body president. America, America, awesome. America, we got tank tops and pickup trucks. George Washington on the buck. Freedom and apple pie. Bring 
brings a tear to American eyes. We're talking Full House and Ernest goes to camp. Samuel L. Jackson on the stamp. Ford walking at the Jersey Shore. We got that Mount Rushmore. Campfires and making s'mores. The bald eagle we all adore. America, America, awesome America. Power to Student body president. Progress is his middle name. Ah! What is he doing? Oh no! He must think he is having one of the naked in school dreams. Wait, aren't people usually terrified when they have that dream? <laughs> Vote Robin! <laughs> Vote Robin! <laughs> Vote Robin! Break it down now. He's really owning it. He probably just thinks he'll wake up any second. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Now that's how you run for office. Dude, you are naked in school. I know. And this is not a dream. I know. One vote for Washington, one vote for Robin. It's a tie. What? You guys didn't vote? No. Of course not. I'm not into politics. Then how shall we break the tie? There's only one way to settle this, Washington. Fischikoffs! And the winner will lead the Titans. Robin, you can't fight George Washington. Yeah, you leave that sweet old woman alone. Not a chance. I've cut down more than cherry trees with this axe, child. By the power of America! See, now I was wrong. I wanted to win this election so badly, I forgot what being a true leader really means. So, effective immediately, George Washington is the leader of the Teen Titans. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry you won't be around to see me become the greatest leader ever! Robin, what are you doing? You can read about it in the history book! <laughs> guys, look! He didn't. He did! After defeating the British with his sweet kung fu moves, Robin became the first president of the United States. Was this also part of the plan, Raven? More or less. All right, my fellow Americans, who's ready to shoot off these fireworks? USA! 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 <gasps> what is that? It looks like tyranny. So much tea. Lovely, isn't it? The Queen of England. You've been bringing tea into the tower this whole time. Bob's your uncle. I don't have an uncle. It simply means you're right, young man. Americans. Yes. I planted the tea. Now the Titans are mine. 
They will distribute this tea to all of America. And once every citizen is under my control, the United States will finally return to the British Empire. Ooh, still angry about American independence, I see. Of course not. Then tell me why you're doing this. Because your forefathers threw good tea in the ocean. Nothing upsets the English more than wasting good tea. Frightful business. Unforgivable, really. You won't get away with this. Too late, young man. Titans, would you kindly dispose of him? Yes, yes Mom. Mom. All right, what are you going on about? I'm calling upon America's oldest ally. That should do it. Time to bring an end to the beginning. Way more fun than mini golf. Hey, no fear.